In the shotgun, Mahomes with 7-10 to go first quarter. Titans 7, Chiefs nothing. Ball right at midfield. Mahomes dropping. Under pressure. Hit, sack, lost the ball. The Chiefs get back on it, but it's Bud Dupree. And that's $100 for our good friends at Second Harvest Food Bank from Kroger, the official tailgate headquarters of the Titans. What a great play by Bud Dupree. That's what he does. We're starting to see him be healthier and healthier. That was a beautiful speed rush and the chop to get that ball out. Mason Kinsey is deep to catch this putt from Tommy Townsend. On fourth down and 12. Townsend, Knuckler, spins away from Kinsey and will bounce to the one and be knocked back and fielded cleanly as Kemp is the man who touched it first and then the man who downed it is Layman's. So the Titans will start at their own two-yard line, leading 7 to nothing. 6-16 remaining first quarter at sunny Nissan Stadium. Derrick Henry has thrown a touchdown pass to Michael Pruitt. Titans lead 7 to nothing as they start their second possession of the game at their own three. Tannehill under center. Gives Henry on the left side. Henry banging out to the six-yard line. Tackle made there by Sneed. 13 personnel. Spagnola blitzed that formation. He is going to blitz this run game. That's what he's showing in the early going of this contest. Only receiver in that particular set was Westbrook Aquina. Now Johnson is wide left, Brown wide to the right on second down. Nine in the box again. They go toss with Henry on the left side. Stutter step, got a yard. Wharton with the tackle. It'll bring up third down. Yeah, as you so correctly call, they've got nine people up there, so they're stacking this front big time. All the tight ends come out. Julio Jones and Josh Reynolds check in, along with Jeremy McNichols. Third down, six yards to go. The Titans must make the 13. Reynolds, Jones, and Brown in a bunch to the right. Now Reynolds motions left. The man, the man, the man. Tannehill from the end zone, firing complete. Julio Jones, 15, penalty marker 20, 25, and Ward gets him out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Brad Allen, the referee. Appears to be on the Titans. Pass interference. Offense, number 86. Half the distance to the goal. Still third down. So it makes it third down, 10 yards to go from the three. They call a, they call a pick on the Miami crossers there. Would have been a gain of right at 21. See if they can do it again. Does Spagnola bring a blitz here? I think so, Mike. Here he comes. Tannehill screens it right side. McNichols to the five, to the 10. He's not quite to the 15, but he got to the 14. First down for the Titans as Todd Downing read it brilliantly and called the screen. What a nice call by Todd Downing and what a really, really good execution by the Titans. That's an excellent, excellent call at that time by Todd Downing. Titans two of two on third down to begin. Titans seven, Chiefs nothing, 4.03 to go first quarter. Jones to the right, Brown to the left. Henry back in at tailback. Play fake, Tannehill with a deep drop. Deep throw, left side. Caught! And then he lost it. 
going out of bounds. He lost it as Sneed ripped it out of the hands from the Titans receiver, A.J. Brown. He had it, and as he was going to the ground, could not complete the catch. He pulled it into his body, and Sneed got it out. Mike Grable is saying he held it. Let's see on the backside picture. One, two, that appears to be a catch, and then it looks like the ground may have caused the fumble. We'll take a look. Titans lead seven to nothing. A.J. Brown going away from us, caught the football, appeared to put three feet and a knee down, and then the ball comes out as he goes to the ground with Sneed trying to knock it at the end of the play. I'm going to get Coach Mack's thoughts on it in just a second, but I'll also have to tell you, Roger Saffold injured on the play, replaced by Dylan Radens. I think this is a catch, Coach Mack. Well, this is saying that's a, that's a reason that he challenged it. You explained it so well. That's exactly, exactly what happened, Mike Keith. Kudos to you and kudos to Mike Vrabel and John Stryker in the booth. The ball came out while the player was on the ground, either by force of the ground or the fact that Sneed got it out, couldn't tell which, but the fact is, because he had taken multiple steps, he had established possession inbounds, so the ball coming loose at the end of the play, at the very most, would have been a fumble that went out of bounds. So it ends up being a gain all the way to the 40 for the Titans, 46 yards on the play. Mike Vrabel, two of two on challenges this year, Brad Allen has now been overturned eight of nine times upon review. You're also two for two. Fullback is Pruitt. Now he lines up as a tight end on the right at the Kansas City 40. They give it to Henry on the right side, turns the corner. Stiff arm on Thornhill and got inside the 35-yard line where he's tackled. Thornhill, nice job staying with it to get him on the ground. It ends up being a gain of nearly eight yards. Yeah, Thornhill went high and just wrapped up and held on for dear life. Titans seven, Chiefs nothing, 3.04 to go first quarter. Three receivers to the right on second down and a short three. Play fake, pitch, Johnson coming around the right end. Johnson to the 30, and Johnson is taken down with his first down by the trailing Okafor inside the 30 at the 27. So the Titans get five yards on the end around. That will keep this defense. They've been stacked in so tight. That's going to get them perimeter conscious now. That's why that play was called. Saffold, his injury is a thigh. He is probable to return. He's on the bike right now. Raiden's the rookie second round pick from North Dakota State is in at left guard again. From the 27 of the Chiefs. Berkser motions right to left. Henry on the stretch play coming to the left and he is going to be hit by Saunders and taken down for no gain. They got that thing, that, that, that thing strung out very, very wide over there. We were never, never able to get any type of push to be able to find a crease then on that one, Mike, that outside zone to the open side. Titans changing personnel groups in major ways, Dave McGinnis. Why are they doing this? Well, they're doing that to get the matchups they want against Spagnola. Spagnola is having issues. That's why he is bringing so much pressure early, Mike. Second and 10. Tap pass, A.J. Brown on the right side, and he will be taken down by Bolton at the 24-yard line. That is a pass. It is a gain of three. It'll bring up third down and seven. Again, another perimeter attack to start to spread it out, as I explained earlier, because early in this contest, in the first 14 minutes, he has been, Spagnuolo, their defensive coordinator, has been packing that line of scrimmage really tight. 
Tannehill, six of six, 90 yards. Started this drive at his three. Titans now at the 24 of the Chiefs, third down and seven. Here they come. Here it comes. Tannehill firing deep left side. Got a man, got a catch, got a touchdown, Titans! Arthur Juan Brown! What a throw, what a catch, what a six! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when I, as soon as I said, here they come, he launched it. What a beautiful throw. What a great catch, great catch. 97 yard drive. They take him to school as Mike Hughes loses to A.J. Brown. That's beautiful. Here's Bullock for point, waiting to confirm that he got both feet down. We now have confirmation. It is a touchdown, and here is Randy Bullock. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Ryan Tannehill with a touchdown pass to A.J. Brown, and the Titans lead the Chiefs 14 to nothing with 42 seconds to go first quarter.